for this equation, n is equal to 2. So we're going to make the following substitution. We're going to let w equal y to the, it's always 1 minus n. So this would be y to the negative first. Then you differentiate with respect to x. So dw dx equals negative y to the negative second, don't forget the chain rule, times dy dx. Are we good? Okay, perfect. Now what you do is you take a peek over here and you go, I wanna make this match dw dx. So what's it missing? It's missing negative y to the negative second. So let me just rewrite it. I'm gonna go step by step this time and then in the next example, we can kinda of skip a bit more. Okay, I'm gonna multiply everybody through by negative y to the negative second because my goal is to have this first term here be dw dx. So now let's see what we got. Negative y to the negative second, dy dx. This will be plus y to the negative first equals negative e to the x. Are we okay? All right, good. So now, yep, this is perfect. This is dw dx plus, okay, I don't want to write y to the negative first anymore. I want this to be linear in w. Yep, y to the negative first is w equals negative e to the x. Perfect. There we go. Now we have a linear differential equation. W is the dependent variable. X is independent. P of X is just 1. P of X is just 1. So the interval on which our solution is valid is going to be from negative infinity to infinity. And then let's go ahead and find our integrating factor. So mu of X is going to be E raised to the integral of 1 dx. So that's just going to be E to the X. Now you come through, multiply 